from Cremo Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. The Zeitz Museum of Contemporary Art Africa, built inside of the old grain silo at the V&A waterfront in Cape Town, required specialist concrete and technical formwork to realize the vision of the architect Thomas Heatherwick. Skulkberger has the details. The grain silo building was built in 1921 in the Cape Town waterfront and is a historical landmark. The exterior and historical elements, such as the conveyor sheds, could not be demolished or altered. The museum, conceived by German businessman and philanthropist Jochen Zeists, was built inside the old grain silos. Heatherwick digitally scanned a grain of maize and the construction partners cut out the inside of the grain silos to match the shape. The old silos had to be re-sleeved with concrete to reinforce the structure, but this, and the shape of the design, led to highly technical construction challenges that the teams overcame. AfriSAM Aggregate's national sales manager, Sean Smith, explained some of the technical aspects of the concrete that was required. So we spent three months in an R&D process together with uh, UCT uh, Prof Mark Alexander designing a specific mix that would work well. Um, the first two mixes that we came up, we had a hundred slump on them. We realized at the time that you couldn't vibrate for the simple reason that once these sleeves were relined, you couldn't get poker vibrators into the element to vibrate it. So the concrete had to essentially be a self-leveling or self-compacting concrete. They wanted a high slag content from a green building point of view. But unfortunately, with the main specification being a very low shrinkage concrete, you couldn't have a high slag content. So we eventually landed up having what we call an 85-15, so 85% so OPC, 15% slag. I think one of the big turning points for us in terms of the rheology and the flowability of the concrete was that we designed a 9 millimeter concrete aggregate with a flake index of less than 20. So it was very cubical and this assisted in the flowability of the concrete the bottom space you had 200 millimeters of space to work in and the top you only had 76 millimeters of space to work in. So it was impossible to get any sort of equipment in there. The pause it took a long time because it was the crane discharge. We could only cast two cubic meters at any one time. It took about 30 minutes to get two cubes in. So the other concern we had was that the heat of hydration would start setting in and the concrete would also reduce its flowability. But fortunately we, we never experienced any of those problems. The museum is open to the public between 10 o'clock and 6 o'clock and provides audio tours of the collection and of the architecture. South African Breweries and its parent company, AB InBev, last month announced the results of the first year of delivering on public interest commitments that entail 1 billion rand fund investments over five years. Marlene Arnoldi has a story. SAB made key investments in agriculture, enterprise development and societal benefit programs in South Africa. In 2017, SAB committed 209 million rand for projects within the three focus areas. SAB and AB InBev Corporate Affairs Director Narishi Trikamji tells us more. Our aim is to ensure that we really leave a lasting legacy in the communities in which we operate, as well as make every effort to curb the harm caused by the misuse of alcohol. Our commitments span agricultural, enterprise and societal development and this is just year one of our five-year commitments. They run from 2017 all the way till 2021. So today we are celebrating and we are together just for the first year of investment. The first year PIC achievements were announced at Lucanio High School in the community of Mohla King in Randfontein. The community is one of the beneficiaries of the PIC agreements through the construction of a multi-sports court at Lucanio High School. SAB partnered with the Sports Fund to deliver quality, safe and sustainable sports infrastructure that are located at needy schools and accessible to the larger community. AB InBev and SAB Africa Zone President Ricardo Tadeo shares the importance of these types of projects. We should study more what's going on here right now and, and see if that can become an example for the world in the years to come. Because through the hard work of, of many people, some of them I just mentioned here, we've been able to develop many, many different projects in different areas that had not only been clearly beneficial to society, but also that uh, brought value for our business at the same time. SAB is passionate about sports development in particular because it has a character building element. Tadeo elaborates. I hope you make a great use of this um, football court here. 
that you have lots of fun and and as much as possible use sports as a great character building um, element that it can actually be in your lives so thank you very much we are in a world that seeks for answers answers for what companies can do what governments can do what is good for society and i think that this is a great example of how can we do things that are both good for society for business generate jobs and therefore become sustainable that's Krima Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.